Hi, it's Joanne back again um, doing another bath bomb video um, here at Soapy Jaws. Um, well, so I'm going to be making my, my Madame Marmalade bath bomb now. Um, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, if you are, please like the video and uh, leave a leave a comment so I can have a, a chat back with you. Um, I think. It's good to talk and uh, communicate. So um, let me know what you think. Um, let's get started. Okay, I'm doing my pa. This trick and add a full cup of bicarbonate soda. Okay, I'm having a nice little mix up. Blend it all in together. As I said before, it's not a t these videos are not a tutorial. Um, they're just it's just showing me doing what I love doing the most is uh, making my my handmade products. Um. I've gone through so much trial and error making bath bombs, you won't believe, but well, you probably would if you have made them yourself. Okay, let's put some peat, uh, not peat, apricot kernel oil in. Uh, yep, I've made, I've made bath breakers, I've made completely fizzed out bombs um yeah i've even made bombs and then they fizzed out <laughs> they've looked right and then fizzed out <laughs> yeah um let me know what experiences you've had making your bath bombs that might be a bit of a laugh for us all is to share a little uh, failure secrets but really they're not failures they're just um the learning steps, isn't there? And if you didn't have them learning steps, you wouldn't know what what was right and what was wrong to do, or you know, which way suits you and which way doesn't. I say um, my recipe suits me fine, but if other people tried it, it might not be right for you. Okay, let's get this fragrance in there. My Madame Marmalade. Uh, this fragrance is um, from the mold shop, and it smells beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Uh, as do all the fragrances from from the mold shop. Um, I have been appointed by Anne, my friend, um, as the head bath uh, head bath bomb um, fragrance tester um, to see if the the fragrances hold up in bath bombs, to see if they discolour in bath bombs. Um, yeah. That smells so good. <laughs> really good. Really nice. If you look at my recipe, it's almost fluffy. It's not, I won't call it wet, but it's just fluffy. You see it. That fragrance is beautiful fragrance. Okay, now a bit of red colorant. I've never used this red before, so we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how, how we get on. Okay. And we're looking red, we're not looking pink. We might be going a little bit pink now. Eh? Pink. A tad more. Yeah, see what it is. I don't. I don't want to get my mix too too wet. Else you end up with back breakers. Definitely not back breakers.
Um, sometimes over colouring of bath bombs can affect the bomb as it's watercolour and um, it's the only colour I find works in bombs. Um, markers seem to stick round the side of the bath. Um, I made a few marker bombs and um, well my bathtub looked awful after and because of the oil in the bath in the bath bomb the, the, the marker kind of stuck all the way around my bath and it was really pain in the backside getting it off. Okay. I think we're right now. There we are. There's my arm it. Hmm. Lovely fragrance. That was my back bond. There we go. One Madame Marmalade back on. As I said before, I placed on the bombs in a box with very soft materials in um, to make sure the bomb stays round as, um, as the bomb hardens any sort of pressure on the bottom of the bomb it will it will flatten and um, sometimes that pressure will make your bomb crack as well so, there we go Not the bomb I still have piled it up and it's horrible. Ah. Typical. Ah. Let's just. Uh, oh. There we go, the last bomb. Uh, this recipe makes three bombs quite easy. Um, I do tend to make the bombs on order. Um, it's just so the the best quality they are. Sometimes, as I say, when bombs have been left for a bit, and uh, especially if they're open to the elements, um, they can lose the, the fizz. Um, water is the bomb's worst enemy really well, for a, a not using bomb and <laughs> for a bomb you want to keep and use for another time so anybody what buys bombs um, it would be a good idea to store them in a in a dry place a dry cupboard or something like that um, I wouldn't advise to store them in a window you know in a bathroom as they get steamed up and damp you know it, that the hot baths promote the steam and the damp, um, not saying that you've got damp bathrooms, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, you get the steamy window effect. Um, yep, yeah. so keep them in a nice dry place. As I say, my bombs will now be sent out in um, a sealed bag, so that should help uh, prolong the bomb's life. Um, yeah, so I'll just give you the fragrance description. Um, here we go. Oh, I think I've got a bit of back hair up my nose. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's have a look. Madame, Mar Madame Marmalade fragrance description is. Here we go. Yeah, Madame Marmalade. 
Sweet magnolia with French wine and French perfume topped with mocha chocolata. A truly rich blended aroma. Feminine but powerful. I love that one. <laughs> I love that bit of my description. Um, and I did say, didn't I, um, this fragrance is available at the mould shop um, if you create bath and body products. Um, fantastic fragrances. Every fragrance I've used from there, um, I've used in co-process soap and it's so they've all soaked a dream. Um, yeah. Anyway, this my Madame Marmalade is going to be available. It's, well, it's available now in soap. It's going to be available in body butter and, as you've just seen, the bath bomb. And um, all my new soaps where I've brought out um, in the last few months will all have matching bath bombs and body butters. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, you'll be sick of my mug in a bit. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I really do appreciate you all watching and supporting me. Um, I think I've come a long way in in the last few years. Um, I think it's just all practice and a lot, a lot of patience. Um, when things go wrong, you have to just keep trying and keep trying and keep trying until you, you nail that, that recipe, until you get that recipe right. And I think that, that's what it's all about. Um, so there's a thought for all you newbies. Just keep at it. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye for now. I'll see you soon. Bye.